Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, she felt I did not really care. Well, I got a good email that I'm going to go through with you today because in this particular email, the guy does really well meeting a girl, starting to date her, getting into a relationship. The problem is that, that I could tell after reading his email is that he focused on the pickup skills and the dating skills. But he didn't focus on learning the relationship skills and a lot of guys dismiss those things, especially when things start off and they start going so well. Hey, you're hanging out, having fun and hooking up. What do I need all that communication babble or nonsense for? Pfft, I'll be okay. And then later when the girl turns around and dumps you, then you're thinking, damn, I really wish I had read Corey's book 10 to 15 times and learned these things. My book has three phases that it focuses on, pickup skills, dating skills and relationship skills and they are all essential if you're one of those guys that wants to have a long-term relationship. Now, if you're just looking to hit and run, get laid, hang out, have fun, and hook up, that's fine but at some point, you're going to meet somebody that you really like and you really click with and you're going to need to know the relationship skills because if you don't, you're going to end up in this kind of position where this particular guy is at. So before we get into his email, I wrote a quote on this topic I want to share with you. And it says, our favorite person is ourselves. Human beings in general are more attracted to people who find them attractive and interesting. Everyone loves when others are sincerely interested in who they really are. Long-term relationships work when both people are sincerely interested, enamored, and engaged to make the other person feel loved, valued, and appreciated. One of the quickest ways to turn the opposite sex off is to treat them like a sex object or like you are more interested in what they can do for you than what you can unconditionally give to them. Relationships are about mutual perpetual giving and loving. And we're going to see when I go through this is that when things transition to, into a relationship, he was really kind of a cold fish. I didn't you don't see any kind of endearing language, sweetie, baby, honey, Sweet pea, sweet pie, you don't sweetums. You don't see those kind of loving, doting things that couples who are in love and care about one another typically say. And that is something that's really important because after a while, because basically what happens is this guy gets into a relationship with this girl, and he in essence continues to treat her like a fuck buddy. And eventually, over time, she realizes that this is the way it's going to be. And after a few months. She's pretty much out of there. So he says, hey coach. He says, first off, I've been watching and implementing the advice you offer in your YouTube videos to great effect. Your information has drastically improved my results with women and my overall self-confidence. That's great. I don't hear any mention about the book. You got to learn the fundamentals in there. He says, this shit, the, and for those of you watching this that haven't started reading the book and you're doing great with just the videos, go to my website. Underneath the email sign up box, there's a link that will take you right to Amazon's download page. So you can either download the Kindle in under 60 seconds or you can purchase a paperback edition. Do yourself a favor and do that now. Don't end up like this guy did. He says, the issue I'm currently dealing with seems to have occurred for doing the right things, i.e. things you teach and that have proven successful on dozens of women in the past. Here's the backstory. I met this girl on Match.com in February of this year. We emailed a few times back and forth on the site and then I get her number and I set up a date. She tried to lure me into talking about myself via text before our first date but I didn't fall for it saying I'd rather we get to know each other in person you can pick my brain later. We get coffee, says I know, lame but she doesn't drink. She later tells me that she's in recovery and goes to NA meetings. I assume that stands for Narcotics Anonymous. He says, this raises an obvious red flag, but she's super cute and acts really into me, so I ignore it. The date goes really well. well one of the things you, you might want to take away from that is she probably has an addictive type of personality. He says, the date goes well and I bounce her back to my place and we have sex. So you hooked up on the first date. That tells me you did, you did great. You, you know the pickup skills, you know the dating skills. He says, everything's fine for the next several weeks. I see her once a week, usually for two days. As she spends the night between the day, she comes to see me and the next day. Well, that's good. It's a good sign there. Hanging out, having fun, hooking up. So far, so good. 
He says she always texts or contacts me first and I seldom respond before an hour or so later, usually because I am legitimately busy. Sometimes I just want to make her wait. So you're legitimately busy. That's what a man should be. You should have a purpose, a mission in life and you shouldn't be just sitting around twiddling his thumbs going, gee, I wonder when my girl is going to text me or call me. You got to have a life. You got to have some interests. He says a couple of months into seeing her, she asks if we are exclusive. He says, I feel like she is rushing things, but I go along with it. Well, if she says, are we exclusive? The question, the best way to handle that is to answer a question with a question. Well, what do you mean, honey? Are you saying you want to be exclusive? You want to be boyfriend, girlfriend? What's on your mind? What's in your heart, sweetheart? That's how you should be talking to her, not acting like a cold fish. It's just like, okay, yeah, we're exclusive. He says, I got a strong sense that if I had said no, she would have broken up with me and found some chump to lock down. He says, I know I acted from a mindset of scarcity and fear and now I regret it. This tells me that you weren't asking good quality questions. You're just making assumptions and just going along with it instead of saying, well, tell me what's in your heart, baby. What are you thinking? Do you want to be exclusive or are you head over heels in love with me? You want to settle down and live happily? I mean, what are you thinking? What's on your mind? At that point, if you're dating a couple months, you should be at that point where you can be playful and sweet and charming like that. He says she constantly talked about the future, introduced me to her parents and all the other things that indicated a serious relationship. Well, what about you? How were you feeling about her? Was she meeting your friends? I mean you guys are in a relationship at that point. Is she saying I love you? Or are you saying I love you back? All those things are important. I had a I had a girlfriend years ago that broke up with me because I was too much of a cold fish. And I remember one of the things that she used to say, she used to say, I want you to say I love you more. It's like I, I always feel like I'm the only one that ever says it. And sometimes you don't even say it back to me. I I, I wanna I want to hear those sweet things. And she was telling me to be sweeter and loving, more charming. And when she broke up with me, she's like, I told you, but you didn't listen. And I learned that lesson the hard fucking way. I learned exactly what this particular guy learned. I was a cold fish like this. I was too cold. I wasn't using all those sweet, endearing, charming things that that we that couples say to one another. It's like using baby talk. It's just like silly things. Like giving giving example. It's like every girl, every relationship I ever had is different. I, I remember one of them. These are goofy, and the the key is you act like little kids when you love each other. And you care about one another. Here's one of the things that one of one of my girlfriends we used to talk, and this is kind of silly, I know, maybe a little embarrassing, but it's like I don't care. It's like man, this is how we talk when we care about somebody. And like sometimes when she would walk by and she she grab my dick, she put her hands right in my cock, and she go, "This is mine," and I'd grab her puss, I go, "This is mine, baby." And then it's like when she wanted to have sex, sometimes she go, she go. Um, will you take your pee pee and put it in my pee pee? And she would do this. Like, keep in mind, we're both adults. We're silly. We're goofy like that. You got to do those kinds of things when you care about somebody and you love one another. Those things just like naturally evolve. Like, one of my girlfriends, I used to call her Sweet Pea. And she used to call me Qua and Quaru and Quarry. Another girlfriend used to call me Corky. Just, just silly, goofy names that you make up for one another. Sweet Pea is one I use. Sweetums is another name that I that I use, and you, you say those things. Baby love, sweetheart. He says I really liked her and was not opposed to the idea of a long term relationship with her or even marriage. This tells me that like you're holding back though. You're feeling like I gotta be cold, I gotta be indifferent, I gotta act like I don't care. The idea is not to be a cold fish. You gotta think of it as like a game of poker. And you want her to reveal her cards first. It's like she reveals her cards first and then you slowly reciprocate. But when she starts to reveal her cards and then you just act like a cold fish, after a while she starts to think that you don't really give a shit about her, which obviously is not the case. He says she was always very pleasant and fun to be around and seemed to be really into me. She was also a great cook. Everything was going fine between us. When a few days after her last visit, she suddenly stopped communicating with me. She texted me to let me know that she had made it home safely, but that was it. 
again, she sends you a text like that, baby. I'm so so glad you're home safe. I had a really wonderful time. I can't wait to see you again. Sweet dreams, sweet pea. Sweet sweet dreams, baby love. Sweet sweet dreams, sweetums, sweetheart, sweet pea. Whatever you you say to her. He says on Saturday, I texted her. You okay? She called me literally five minutes later saying she was fine and she had just been busy, though it was obvious she was bullshitting and something was wrong. The next day after no contact all day. So that tells me you recognize something is up, but what do you do? Nothing. You're just indifferent and you're cold. What you should have said was, baby, what's the matter? You seem a little cold. You see, you sound a little distant. What's, what's up? You know, Let's get together and have some dinner and we'll talk about it. It sounds like you're upset about something and I want to know what's in your heart. He says the next day after no contact, she calls me at around 9.30 and says she's breaking up with me because she doesn't see a future with me. She says she still found me attractive and would even miss me, but she had made up her mind. I honestly feel like being aloof, confident, and not totally committing to her emotionally, she felt like I didn't really care about her even though I did and simply gave up chasing me. Well, that's what happens when you don't read the book. That's what happens when you don't learn the relationship skills is that you took the acting cold and indifferent that really only starts out – and again, it's part of the poker game if you will. It's part of – because most guys tend to rush into a relationship. Most guys try to push things too far, too fast, too soon and they scare the woman away. But here she is. She's doing exactly textbook what I talk about. Are we exclusive? She brings it up. And as I talk about my book, what do you mean? That's the question. That's how you handle those things. But you obviously didn't read the book. And instead you just acted like a cold fish and you're, the way you showed up, it never changed. You never became sweet and stupid and goofy and did baby talk or, or things of that nature. It's like every girlfriend, every long-term relationship I've ever had, we always would talk like a little boy and a little girl. Just like it. I know it's dorky and it's stupid. And I'll probably get some somebody calling like, you're a fucking idiot saying something on my, my YouTube channel underneath the video. Because, But that's how men, men and women are. You act goofy. Act silly. Act stupid. It's like you're sharing your secret little worlds with one another. And it's like that has to evolve. But those are endearing things that, that communicate I love you even though you're not saying I love you. By being silly and goofy and playful, it communicates so I love you in a different way. It's like you're, you make up your own – every girlfriend I've ever had, we've all made up our own little secret language. Even years later, the ones I'm still friends with and I talk to, we go right back to that. We go right back into that baby talk mode and using those doting, silly names and goofy things that we call one another. He says, I'd love to hear your take on this. So, I mean, at this particular point, I mean, there's not a lot that you can do because she says she's made up her mind. And so obviously at this point, you probably walked and you never look back. And if she ever reaches out again to you, you say, hey, baby, it's great to hear from you. I miss you. I'd really love to see you when you're free to get together. Because she pushed you away and there's a chance that she'll reach out to you in the future. But what you need to be doing in the meantime is reading the book and learning the relationship and the communication skills because if the communication is not there, if you're not able to open a woman up, if you're not able to communicate with her and get her to talk about things, if you're just acting like a cold fish all the time when you're out with her, eventually she's got going to start to think that you don't care because if you don't ask, if you don't ask what's going on in her heart, if you don't ask what she's thinking and feeling, if you're not saying things like what else, tell me more and listening to her and letting her do most of the talking, eventually she's going to start to assume that you don't care about her, that you don't appreciate her and the reason that you don't ask is you, is you don't care. And it's just like she said here in her video, she said – She said she didn't – she doesn't see a future and she found me attractive and she felt like I didn't really care about her. That's what happens when you act like a cold fish constantly. The idea – it's like you can act aloof and indifferent, charming, playful but over time as she starts to open up and become more sweeter, 
then you solely reciprocate it. And it gets to the point where you both can be goofy and silly all of the time. And this is just – this is what happens when you don't prepare yourself and read the book 10 to 15 times. You can be great at pickup. You can be great at dating. You can be great at hooking up. But if you don't know how to communicate, if, if, you, if you don't move to that next level of communication and playfulness and intimacy – and sharing your feelings and communicating the things that you love about her and why you love her in those silly ways like I talked about. Like I said, every successful couple, that's that's the way they are. Those things just naturally happen. And so it tells me that you were completely holding back all throughout the relationship and it, and it never really changed. And But this is how you learn. <laughs> So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype, or email coaching session. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen, and follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.